pick. No pick. Then pick. Hello everyone, welcome back. Maybe you've been practicing my six essential tapping exercises from last week's video, or maybe you're trying to sprinkle some finger style into your regular playing. Whatever the circumstances, you might be wondering, how do I go from my regular picking technique to these other techniques that rely on the fingers of the right hand and then back to picking. This is a very common question and problem, especially amongst electric guitar players who tend to rely on their pick. And therefore today I will show you my magic trick that I use to make my pick disappear so that I can tap away on the fretboard. And then of course I have to make it reappear so that I can get back to shredding. Pick, no pick, pick, no pick. I'm gonna show you right now how to do it, of course, but before we get there, please keep in mind that this trick is somewhat limiting technically because you still have to hold the pick in your hand even if you can't see it. So if you have a long tapping section maybe that maybe requires more than one finger or if you have a complicated finger style intro, then you might wanna rely on the good old technique of putting the pick in your mouth. But if you need to switch quickly from picking to using your fingers and back to picking, then this trick works great. And I'm gonna show it to you from close up in just a second, but here's the general idea. When I'm holding my pick as usual, I have my thumb, of course, resting on the face of the pick, like this. If I want to hide the pick, all I have to do is slide my thumb along with the pick towards the middle finger. Once I get there by simply bending my middle finger, I can hold on to the pick between my first joint and the palm of my hand. If I want to retrieve the pick, I put my thumb right there, as I was before, on the face of the pick, slide it up towards my first finger, and I'm back exactly where I started. And now let me show it to you from close up. From the picking position, slide your thumb towards your middle finger, hold on to the pick between this joint and the palm, and then back to your picking position. Again, slide and back. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found this little trick interesting and useful. Just practice it a little bit every day and you'll get there in no time. If you've enjoyed the video, maybe subscribe, like, and especially comment. I really do love to hear from you. And if you want more of this, make sure you check out my Patreon. We do exclusive lessons. We do live streams. You can download all the PDFs from my videos and a lot more. No matter what you do though, make sure you come back next week for more. And I thank you very much for making it till the end of the video. See you soon.